G'day and welcome to another video with Better Peaks. Hope this finds everyone well. This is just a very quick video today to show you how with Adobe Camera Raw, you can bulk process images uh, with the new AI denoise tool, uh, which is a really great feature. So previously, my understanding was that you could only um, apply the tool to a single image at a time. I'm not sure if there was an update. Uh, if anybody knows, please leave a comment below. I'd love to find out. Uh, that allows you to process multiple images, but it is something that you can do and it's something that I wanted to demonstrate with this video. So you can see I've got four images here of birds that were shot in a rainforest uh, up in Lamington National Park, which is not very far from where I live. All four of them were photographed using 12,800 ISO, as you can see. Let's go straight into opening them with Adobe Camera Raw. So I've just selected all four images right click and open an Adobe Camera Raw. Then I'm gonna select all four images again, head over to the Detail tab, which is where the noise reduction is, uh, and click on Denoise. Now the tab that normally appears pops up uh, and it just uh, allows us to select the area and have a look at how much denoising we want to apply. I think last time I demonstrated this tool, I applied 25 and I'm gonna do exactly the same here. And you can see because I have all four photos selected and I've gone to the denoise tool, it is saying enhance four photos. So this is simply like any other adjustment. You just select the photos and apply the adjustment to those photos that you've selected. So we're gonna hit enhance four photos. Now this will take some time. Um, it uh, takes a bit of time just for a single photo, let alone four or multiple images. But it's a really handy tool if you want to apply it to multiple images at one time. I am going to speed this up because it, it, there's no point in us just sitting here watching it process. Uh, it may be something that is worth considering putting on while you're doing something else. So, which I often do with uh, video exporting, for example, or if I'm saving out or exporting a large number of images. Uh, it may be worth doing something where you process all of the images and you leave your noise reduction to the last uh, step of the process and uh, you know leave it on overnight or if you're heading out doing something else then uh, you can just let it process in the background. I found that if I did do other tasks, and this would obviously be dependent on the power of or strength of your um, system that you're using for editing, but I found that if I did too many other tasks it did slow down the process. So. If you want to maximize the efficiency, uh, just letting it do its thing is probably the best way to go. So as per the previous process, it will actually create uh, new uh, files um, that, that have had the denoise applied to them. It's also worth mentioning that I have done some minor adjustments to these images. So just uh, nothing too major, but just adjusting exposure, a little bit of contrast and color saturation and color correction. Nothing too major, as I said, I always try to get things correct in camera or as close to the result in camera that I want to, but certainly wanted to mention that they have had some edits done to them before uh, going through this process of using AI to denoise the images. All right, so that's all four images processed. You can see we now have two versions of each image. One is the original, which you can see is a .cr3 file up the top here. And the next one is a .dng, so digital negative. Obviously with all the same flexibility that you have from a raw file in the DNG. Uh, but with the DNG, of course, that AI denoise has been applied. So that is the process for batch editing uh, or batch applying that AI noise reduction through Adobe Camera Raw. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks again for stopping by. And as always, any questions in the comments are more than welcome. Thanks again and take care.